Whenever I try to build with the Spores Druid, it's always a rough patch. Them taking an action to create the symbiotic entity really, really holds them back. That is a very restrictive action requirement. However, with this build, we can really take advantage of the fact that symbiotic entity increases our damage output and try and get the most use out of that as we can. This is Fungal Fury, a high damage hit and runner. Without further ado, let's jump into the build. In order to pull this build off, I went Hexblood Lineage. Hexblood is going to give us the Hex spell, which is fantastic for our damage output because we're going to be doing a lot of different attacks. Symbiotic Entity increases our damage output based on the number of attacks we have, so does Hex. Match Made in Heaven, if we have them both set up, we're doing an extra 2d6 damage per attack. The first two levels we take are going to be going into Spore's Druid, and every single level past that is going to be going into the Astral Self Monk. As for our stats, we can go into Wisdom as our large primary. We can then go into Dexterity and Constitution as our secondary. What's really nice about going Druid first is we get Shillelagh, which gives us a monk weapon that we can attack with our Wisdom modifier, so we can always focus on maximizing our Wisdom instead of focusing on Dexterity. And specifically, we're going to be going into the Astral Self Monk, so even our unarmed attacks can now be Wisdom-based attacks. Going into Druid does several more things for us. It's going to allow us to have more spell slots to actually cast Hex, which is our primary concentration spell. It's also going to allow us to Animal Shape. Now, both Druids and and monks make excellent scouts and having animal shape is just going to enhance that that when we need to scout a location we have options to turn into a spider and go do it discreetly now we rely on our symbiotic entity so we don't want to do this if we expect combat but if we're outside of combat then it's a totally fine time to do it just read the situation it also gives us powerful first level spells entangle comes to mind which expands what we do as a marshal we can now have some control options as well fantastic first level spell that really never falls off you can use entangle at level 12 and still get high value out of it on top of that it's going to give us ranged options we now have magic stone combined with a sling which synergizes with multi-attack so when we need to be ranged we can okay with all of that out of the way let's talk about what we're doing here the idea is that we want to preemptively use symbiotic entity meaning it's not going to always be there for us so we're not going to rely on it in every single combat however there are plenty of combats that happen in DD that you can predict within 10 minutes and that's what we want to do we want to cast it before combat starts as often as possible because we don't want to be using an action to set up symbiotic entity furthermore we're only two levels into druid so if we get hit basically by anything symbiotic entity ends, which is why we're going to be doing a hit and run playstyle. What we really want to be doing here is attacking people using the reach from our astral self setup and then getting into a position where we can't be hit. If we are able to pull this off, we can be attacking at reach with a plus d6 for every single attack that we hit because of symbiotic entity, as well as a plus d6 for every single attack we hit because of hex. We can then start dropping things like flurry of blows to really get our damage output pretty crazy, and then we want to use our mobility to get us into a safe space if possible. This playstyle has a lot of areas of failure. We can lose concentration, we can lose our temporary HP, losing our symbiotic entity, but all that being said is even if everything else fails, we're still going to be okay. By going so deep into wisdom, we're going to have really effective stunning strikes. We have Shillelagh to set up our D8 weapon attacks in melee range, followed up by our normal attack. So this build really represents high highs and decently low lows. I'm going to say at its worst, this build is going to be less effective than other builds you can do with a high amount of consistency, but when it all comes together our damage output really gets pretty freaking bonkers as well as being able to drop stuns along with it really creates a like high high peak here think about it our astral self arms d6 let's say we're level five or above as far as monk is concerned so d6 plus our wisdom which you know we're pretty sad as far as monks are concerned because we can just fully invest in wisdom so let's give us a plus four let's be pretty lenient and give us a plus four so now we have these d6 plus four for every attack we get we get four of those attacks every single one of those attacks that hits gives us an additional 2d6 damage every single one of those attacks that hits we can also start trying to drop a stunning strike that is pretty dang efficient because of our investment so now we can have a setup that allows us to potentially get a stunning strike on the first turn and have advantage on every single one of those attacks after you see what i mean by high highs we're controlling 
trolling and we're doing great damage output that's our peak and as for our low lows while they are low they're not terribly low we can still get a shillelagh staff add our wisdom modifier to both of those attacks and sure our martial arts attack isn't going to be that great this is assuming we have no spell slots that we do not have symbiotic entity up and that we're out of key that's a lot to say that we've expended so i think more often than not we're going to be a lot better than what i just said but that's as bad as we get and is it worse than a fighter would be in the same situation sure but a fighter isn't getting to the high peaks that we're going so i like how the build comes together my question for you guys today is how do you get the most out of the spores druid let me know in the comments down below if you want to show support to the channel as well as get some awesome benefits along the way consider checking out our patreon but with that my friends I hope you have yourselves an incredible day and i'll catch you on the next one see you then